I'm here because of a postage stamp. Hi everyone, my name's Scott. Welcome to Planes, Trains, Everything and welcome to Rimini on Italy's Adriatic coast. Why am I here? Well, when I was in my teens, I used to have a stamp album and it was full of stamps from around the world. And there was always one stamp that stood out. It was from a little place called San Marino. And I thought, I wonder what it's like to go there. Anyway, I progressed from leaving school. I started working in the travel industry. And we used to have access to these uh, Thomas Cook European train timetables. And I loved these little red books. And in fact, I still get them now. And I'd look at these, I'd study the timetables, look at these funny little symbols. And there'd be one from Rimini to San Marino and it was a bus and it operated a few days a week. And I thought, wow, one day if I find myself in Rimini, I must go up to San Marino. Well, it's taken a little while, but I'm finally here. This is Rimini and I believe the coach to San Marino leaves from just over there somewhere. So fancy a little trip to one of the world's smallest countries. Yeah, let's do it. This service is operated by Bonelli Bus and apparently it leaves from outside the Napoleon Hotel. So once we find the Napoleon Hotel, we're halfway there. According to their website, you buy tickets on board. Um, Rimini to Bologna Airport. Ah, okay. Uh, no, still no sign of the uh, Napoleon Hotel. It'll be around here somewhere, I'm sure. Welcome to San Marino. It did actually request a nice sunny day, but I think the request got lost in the spam folder. We are up actually quite high, that's why it's so misty here. My ears actually popped on the bus. <laughs> right, as long as we don't get lost, because um, it's a funny place this. It's kind of built north-south, and on the map then suddenly it's nothing. And that's because there's an abrupt cliff. And I think the cliff's over in that direction. But there are going to be no panoramic shots of San Marino today. All right, let's go exploring.
to be honest, I didn't really know what to expect here, but it's a, a very picturesque place. It's just a shame that the, uh, the weather isn't a little kinder. Okay, it's pub quiz time. Can you name the four European countries that use the Euro but are not members of the European Union? If you said San Marino, then that's an easy answer. But the other three are Vatican, sorry, Vatican City, uh, Andorra, and Monaco. Now, can you name the other two countries in Europe that are non-EU members and don't have a formal arrangement with the European Union but still use the Euro. Kosovo and Montenegro. They both use the Euro, but they're not part of the European Union and it doesn't really have the EU's blessing. Oh, what about these steps here? I just had a bad feeling this might have been a dead end, but I think we can get through to somewhere else here. This city is actually full of little passageways. Look at this one. If you don't like hills, don't come to San Marino. Whoa. Tourism plays a very big part in the local economy here. So many shops here just selling souvenirs and alcohol and knives and pellet guns and stamps. How's this for an amazing view? Guess what I just saw? Clouds. These roads and paths just continually keep going up and up and up. Eventually we must run out of hill and that means we're at the summit. Oh. Not many people up here, I wonder why. <laughs> it's just four euros to get into the tower but with weather like this, what's the point? <laughs> You can't see anything. Right, I'm getting hungry. It's one o'clock. Yeah, let's find something to eat. I think because of the cloud, visitor numbers are way down today, which is expected. As a result, many restaurants and many shops haven't actually opened up. So I'm having a little bit of trouble finding a restaurant which has got what I'm looking for. You'll see what I mean. Right, I get it now. I was standing outside that restaurant looking at the menu and a guy was trying to tell me something about the fact that there was a lunch menu. And I was trying to tell him I really didn't want a lunch menu, I wanted something more substantial. I wanted um, something like tagliatelle or spaghetti carbonara or lasagna, but he kept pointing at a pizza menu. So I went in there anyway, sure enough, it's a lunchtime menu, so you don't get past it, it's just pizzas and other things like that. It was still mwah, delicious. Yeah, everything is going a bit quiet here in downtown San Marino.
My health insurance probably does include San Marino, but I don't want to take any chances. Right, there's some stairs. Let's go exploring over here. Uh, no. Right, and along this ledge here. Oh, cheeto. No idea what that little room was for. It did have a telephone, it had what looked like a large fridge, a basin, a wash hand basin, and cleaning products. I don't know. Right, let's get down here before I twist an ankle and uh, need hospitalization. This is the sheer drop I was telling you about. Because of the clouds, you can't really see how high up you are, but you can hear traffic away in the distance, mainly away down in the distance. This is up high. I feel as if I've got San Marino to myself today. So, San Marino, huh? This is the sort of country which, if you follow Scottish football and you're drawn against San Marino in the European Championships, your heart is full of fear because these are the sort of teams that Scotland seems to struggle against, San Marino. Now, I didn't plan to come here when it was foggy, but it certainly added a certain kind of atmosphere, a spooky atmosphere to the place, but I will have to definitely come back. This is a really lovely place. Anyway guys, thanks very much for coming and exploring San Marino with me. I do appreciate it. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you next time.